Want to know why? Ask how. Howard the Humongous. Early in the morning of November 7th, Vladimir Putin chaired an online meeting of his council for the development of civil society and human rights and made some disturbing statements about nuclear weapons. But before we get into Putin's latest nuclear end of the world scenario, it's important to understand what Putin's counsel for the development of civil society and human rights is. It is not an organization fighting the Russian state for the freedom of jailed protesters and other political prisoners. It is not a fighter for dignity and freedom. It is a tool of the Kremlin. Its main focus these days is defending the so-called civil rights of Ukrainians in the four territories that Putin declared a part of Mother Russia and annexed on September 30, 2022, Luhansk, Donetsk, Zaporizhia, and Kherson. What are the civil rights in these four conquered territories? As Putin puts it, the rights to be defended against anti-Russian racism, Russophobia, Ukrainian lies, and what Putin calls Ukraine's Nazi regime. In other words, civil rights are the freedom to be stripped of Ukrainianism. Putin has also asked the Council to develop civil society institutions and a modern non-commercial sector in the four conquered regions of the Ukraine. In other words, the Council for the Development of Civil Society and Human Rights is a weapon to wipe out Ukrainian culture and to cement the four conquered territories of the Ukraine into the empire of their Russian conqueror, Putin's Ruski Mir, Putin's grand Russian world, imposing on the Ukrainians what Putin calls, quote, our common culture, traditions, and language. In other words, no more use of the Ukrainian language, no more Ukrainian culture, and no more Ukrainian traditions. From now on, if you live in the Ukrainian lands of Luhansk, Donetsk, Zaporizhia, and Kherson, you will be an obedient Russian subject, or you will be nothing. During December 7th's virtual meeting of the Council for the Development of Civil Society and Human Rights, Putin was also asked if he would swear never to be the first to use nuclear weapons. His answer was no. He would not swear never to be first in the use of nuclear weapons. In other words, Putin reserved the right to use nuclear weapons whenever he wants. Why? Putin said, quote, the threat of nuclear war is growing. No need to hide this sin. But he added, quote, we haven't gone mad. We realize what nuclear weapons are, close quote. Then Putin added a subtle threat. He said, we have nuclear weapons in more advanced and modern form than any other nuclear country. That's an obvious fact. But we aren't about to run around the world brandishing this weapon like a razor, close quote. What Putin said is not true. For months, Putin's chosen television hosts have been eagerly urging the use of nuclear weapons on London, New York, and Washington. And these TV stars have been planting the idea that it's every Russian citizen's obligation to die on behalf of Putin's Russian empire. Death, says this TV message, is better than defeat. Remember, Vladimir Putin, at an international policy forum in Sochi on October 13th, declared that if there is global nuclear war, Russia will win for a simple reason. Russians will go to heaven, but Russia's enemies will go to hell. Or as one of Russia's top-rated TV talk show hosts, Vladimir Solovyov, threatened on the week of December 5th, 2022, if Russia doesn't get its way. Quote, 
the whole world will be reduced to ashes, close quote. This is Howard Bloom speaking to you from the future. It's your job and my job to make. Or, <laughs> want to know why? Ask how. And now for that infamously stingy little off button. <laughs>